doors are marked secret. Are you sure we should be in here? Hmm. Everything about this place is secret, Lieutenant. This is where the Institute does most of its important testing. It's a fantastic place. Most of their research is funded by the government. As you can imagine, the potential military application of extrasensory perception is virtually limitless. Right, I never thought of that. Is that what they call an isolation booth, sir? Isolation chamber. That's where I did my work yesterday. And test, Mr. Dyson's test. That's right, Lieutenant, I passed his test. You were the first psychic who ever did that, aren't you, sir? So I'm told. That's very impressive, sir, my goodness. And Mr. Dyson, what was his reaction to your passing his test? Shock, disbelief, bitterness. Understandable, of course, when you consider he spent his whole life denying the validity of extrasensory perception. I do understand that, sir. Dr. Hull, she said that you never met Mr. Dyson until a few days ago. Is that right, sir? Two days before the test. Well, forgive me, sir, but that strikes me as very odd. You're both being in the same business well, and all. the same business, Lieutenant. I'm a psychic. Max Dyson was a magician. He made his living convincing his clients that all psychic phenomena are fraudulent. For the past 12 years, I've lived in Europe, where the psychic community takes a good deal of pride in policing itself without the aid of people like Max Dyson. Well, now I got to admit, I'm confused, sir. What confuses you, Lieutenant? You're feeling the way you do about Mr. Dyson. I can't help wondering, why did you agree to be tested by him? Well, that's simple. Dyson's client insisted upon it. Do you mind telling me who that client was, sir? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I can't tell you his name. Like everything else around here, that's a secret. Well, there I go, asking the wrong questions again, sir. Whenever I do that, you just stop me, sir, the way you just did. if I can. Oh, you can, sir. I'm convinced of that. Well, what is it, Lieutenant? Can you read my mind? Your mind? Tell me what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, I can try. Over here. Now, you see, Lieutenant, these are six ESP cards. Square, circle, cross, wavy line, triangle, and a star. I want you to mentally select one of them, then draw a picture of it in your notebook. Any card I want. Any card you want. Just uh, think about it and draw a picture of it. Is it okay if I change my mind? Of course. I got it. Now, concentrate intently upon the image that you drew. Okay. We can open your eyes now, Lieutenant. Was that the card that you were thinking of? That's it. That's incredible. And I sense that that was the one that you were thinking of before you changed your mind. That's right, sir. That's the exact con. Look, I was thinking of a circle, and then I changed my mind. And you knew that. You knew the exact con. What I wouldn't give to be able to do that in my business. If I knew exactly what the suspect was thinking, well, I would make some wonderful detective. I imagine you would.
Just one more thing. 